Hello and welcome with the release of the official trailer for Forza Motorsports. I thought it would be a fun idea to compare that trailer to the trailer for Gran Turismo 7 and just go over everything that they spoke about in the Forza Motorsport trailer and just see what similarities and what differences the game is going to have compared to Gran Turismo 7. So if you do go on to enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It has been confirmed that Forza Motorsport will be receiving more than 500 cars at launch with 100 of those cars being brand new to the Motorsport game as well as receiving the most modern race cars that the game has ever seen. And this is shown by the Porsche Mission R which was only previously available in iRacing. With Gran Turismo we saw 400 cars come to the game at launch from everything you could think of, from vintage cars to modern day races to little everyday run around city cars. Now the mention of brand new racing vehicles coming to Forza Motorsport was kind of slap in the face to Gran Turismo 7 players as we have been requesting for new GT cars to actually come to the game. So hearing that Forza Motorsport is getting the most they have ever had before it kind of hurts. So, with that being said, one point to Forza Motorsports. It was too funny not to add this clip. Customize with more than 800 unique upgrades. Now, you're saying that there's 800 unique upgrades and then showing Forza Aero doesn't really hold strong on the upgrade side of things. Okay, so with both of these games upgrading the visual aspects of the vehicle, is not the game's main purpose. If you're looking for a game where the main purpose is just visual customization, well, you need to go and play Need for Speed. So I think both Forza and Gran Turismo, when it comes to visual customization, you're gonna be able to change the front bumper, side skirts, and rear bumper. And some vehicles may have special spoilers. It is said that Gran Turismo 7 has over 650 unique upgrades which means Forza Motorsports is gonna take this point. So another point to Forza Motorsports. Both of the games feature cutting edge 4k ray tracing technology to give you the best visual experience and see the vehicles like you have never seen them before. Now the thing is it's your personal opinion which do you think looks better Forza Motorsports or Gran Turismo 7. In my personal opinion I can say that both of these games are beautiful. Even the Gran Turismo fanboy within me can admit that the cars in Forza Motorsport look incredible. Then they spoke about car audio and said that they revolutionized the way car audio is going to be in Forza Motorsport. <laughs> So they said depending on the turbocharger, the exhaust system, the car's audio will change. Now Gran Turismo, they said the exact same thing and personally, I can't really hear much of a difference. So we're just going to have to wait and see when the game comes out, what the cars actually sound like. So until then, my verdict is neutral. When it comes to circuits, more than 20 circuits are going to be added with the launch of Forza Motorsports. Whereas with Gran Turismo 7, we saw 34 circuits come to the game on day one. For both games, they went in and discussed how 4K ray tracing was not only for vehicles, but for the tracks as well. For Forza Motorsport, they spoke about how they went and captured as many shots as possible to make the circuit as real as possible. Now they have gone and done this with every circuit. So there's no circuit that is getting just transported over from Forza Motorsport 7 to this game. Every circuit has been rebuilt to make it as real as possible. As long as there is an abundance of events, there should not be too much of an issue that there are only 20 circuits on day one. 
For the first time in a Forza Motorsport game, we are receiving dynamic time and weather. This is supposed to give a racing experience unlike any other before, as the first lap will not be the same as the next lap. This will therefore bring a unique aspect to every single race and keep drivers on their toes as they do not only have to battle with other cars on the circuit, they also have to battle with forever changing driving conditions. Gran Turismo also saw the addition of dynamic time and weather. With theirs, they focused special attention on the clouds. So they looked at the clouds in America and noticed that they do not move the same as the clouds in Japan. So if you are racing in Japan, you will look up in the sky and see the sky will be different compared to any other place around the world. And on some of the larger circuits, for example the Nürburgring, the rain will be hitting one side of the circuit and the other side will be completely dry. There are different stages of rain from anything from a light drizzle to a passing shower to absolute torrential rain where you're physically not able to drive on the circuit. I'm quite interested to see Forza's take on dynamic weather because if we look at Horizon 5, we saw the dust storms, the rain in the jungle. So, so is that the type of rain that I should expect in Forza Motorsports? We are just going to have to wait until we actually experience the dynamic weather in Forza Motorsport to give a clear verdict on who has the best dynamic time of day and also weather. Track temperature and rubberizing were also mentioned in the trailer. Now, if a circuit is cold, the car will not have as much grip as if the circuit was hot. Now, Gran Turismo also has track temperatures but it isn't as focused upon as in Forza Motorsport. In Gran Turismo 7, I can be mistaken by this, so please do correct me in the comments if I say this. I haven't noticed track rubbering. Now, this is when throughout the race, the longer the race goes on, the more rubber is on the circuit and the track becomes more grippier. So, for example, on the first lap, the first lap will be slower than your third lap because the third lap has more rubber on it, making the car more grippier, allowing it to go a lot more faster. So, I'm saying that in Grand Turismo 7, I haven't really experienced that. If I'm incorrect, then please let me know in the comment section. But Forza stated that that is going to be a key feature in Forza Motorsports. And and lastly, console compatibility. So Forza Motorsports is only on current gen Xbox and PC, whereas Gran Turismo 7 is only available on PlayStation. So Gran Turismo is available on current gen, the PS5, and last gen, the PlayStation 4. Now Forza is only current gen, so that is your Xbox Series S and Xbox Series S as well as PC, so PC boys can enjoy Forza as well. But the games have always been like this. Gran Turismo is a Sony exclusive game and Forza is a Microsoft game, hence why it is available for play on PC. So because of this, both games are exclusive to their own consoles, so I'm not gonna give anyone the points. So we can now see by just looking at the trailers that Forza Motorsport actually beats out Gran Turismo 7 when it comes to all of the new features that are going to be coming to the game. So take this with a grain of salt but a game can look amazing in the trailer but when it actually comes to playing the game, the game can honestly be a letdown. So we're just going to have to wait and see when Forza Motorsport actually gets released. And when's that getting released? Sometime during 2023. Yes, the release date has been pushed back. We don't exactly know when, but it's most likely going to be somewhere November, September, that, that type of period. So, with all this being said, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!